hold it right there. Do not use the editing panel yet to edit your photo. The first tool you want to utilize is the cropping tool. In this Lightroom Basics video, we're going to go over what is the cropping tool and how to use it. Now, why do we use the cropping tool first? Well, it's really important to make sure your composition is set to where you want it to be before you start doing further edits on your photo. That's why you start with the cropping tool. After you've picked your photo in the library, you go up to develop. Click on develop here. And then by the histogram, you'll notice this symbol here called crop overlay. That's your cropping tool. In the cropping tool, there are a number of different options. One of my favorite options I like to use first is actually the auto align. What that does is Lightroom decides to auto align your photo based off of the horizon. Now that's why I actually chose this photo. There is no horizon. So if I actually use auto align here, it aligns it based on the window frame. As we can see, that's actually not aligned properly for this photo. So I'm gonna go back to the crop overlay. We're gonna undo that. And now we're gonna actually do this manually. There's a couple ways to manually align your photo. The first is utilizing the slider here. As you can see, you can go ahead and align the photo as you want manually with the slider. The other way to align your photo is if you bring your mouse into the gray area by your photo and, and hold left click, you can go ahead and drag the photo left and right to precisely align your photo. I personally like utilizing this method because it gives me more control over aligning my photo. And now I'm gonna actually align it based on the hood. So if I go ahead and here, we're gonna slowly align it. And about right there, I'd say is aligned for this photo. The auto line tool is best utilized when you have a horizon. So if you're doing a landscape shot or even a portrait shot, and you have a horizon in the background, Lightroom does a good job of aligning the photo. Whereas in a case like this, where there is no horizon for Lightroom to work off of, it typically isn't the best tool to utilize. So you should do it manually instead. But the next tool you'll see is the aspect ratio. After I've aligned the photo, I sometimes then move to the aspect ratio, especially if I'm looking to post a photo on Instagram. That's important because certain aspect ratios work better on Instagram. For example, if you utilize a one by one crop, that's great for the square post on Instagram. Now, if you're looking to post a horizontal or a landscape type photo, you want to utilize the 1.9 one by one crop. And lastly, for a vertical type photo for Instagram, you want to utilize the four by five crop. Now, by default, Lightroom sets the aspect ratio how you originally shot the photo in camera. Now, whether you utilize an aspect ratio or originally as it's shot in camera, the next tip is to decide how you actually want to crop your photo. And before you start cropping, what I like to do is to actually set an overlay. Lightroom defaults to utilizing the aspect ratio for the crop overlay. However, if you hit O on your keyboard, you can actually cycle through different crop overlays to utilize what works best for your style. For me, I typically like to utilize the rule of thirds, so I utilize this crop overlay normally. Now that I have the crop overlay set for my photo, I'm gonna start cropping the photo in order to get the composition I'm looking for. So in order to adjust your crop, you simply drag from the left, the right, the top, the bottom, or the four corners. Remember that when you're adjusting the crop of your photo, your main goal is to ensure your focal point is your subject. My main focal point is the steering wheel and the Ferrari logo. And also I want to ensure that I remove any distractors from the photo. In this photo, you'll see that the legs here are distractors. So we're going to go ahead and remove those distractors and ensure that the steering wheel and the logo are the main focal point. So I'm going to go ahead and drag from the top left hand corner here to about right here, now that we've removed the distractors. Now the logo is still a little off, so we go ahead and move this up just a little bit here. Make a couple minor adjustments. Drag this in, drag this up a little bit. That looks good. Now to actually check how the crop looks, go to your editing panel here, click on edit, and that's your final crop. I hope this tutorial was helpful in understanding the cropping tool and how to utilize it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe for future Lightroom videos.